Hi guys. You will be absolutely shocked to hear that it is a just a yuck, gray, gloomy, rainy, depressing kind of day here in the end times. In the fall of 2021, that would be Saturday, October 16th, 2021. So since I am not having uh, my planet eating going on today, sitting here bouncing off the walls, figuring out what to do with myself today, and uh, I need to go over there and to that other channel and change shirts and uh, <clears throat> look at this week's Hopium Roundup. But before I head over, to that other channel, we actually really do have some real hopium, some genuine hopium uh, over here at Humpty Dumpty Tribe, and uh, so uh, never let it be said that uh, Hambone Little Tail doesn't share good news on the planet other than psycho bitches blowing their brains out. Uh, but we're gonna go, we have some good news coming out of Colombia, of all places. Uh, you very rarely hear any good news coming out of the shithole country of Colombia. Many versions of this. I'm, I'm just aiming for the BBC News version of this story. Colombia sterilizes drug lords humans. All right, Columbia sterilizes drug lords humans. We all have to uh, get to the bottom of this. <clears throat> a group of humans, an unwanted legacy following the death of notorious Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar, are being sterilized. Yes. Escobar, who was shot dead by police in 1993, illegally imported exotic animals, including one male and one female human, who he dubbed the cocaine humans. Since then, since I guess 1993, a growing population of humans has been taking over the countryside near his former ranch named Hacienda Napoles. Yes, the Colombian government has so far sterilized 24 of more than 80 humans now living there. Uh, one male, one female human in 1993. Now we have more than 80 humans taking over the countryside of Colombia, but so far the Colombian government has sterilized 24 of the uh, fat-ass breeders. Uh, <clears throat> so how are they doing this? The humans have been treated with a chemical that will make them infertile. Thank you. Uh, the Colombian government finally stepping up to the plate. They're not killing the humans. They're not increasing the death rate. They are simply slipping some sterilant into their food supply to sterilize the humans so they can live out their lives uh, destroying the countryside and then when they die, the buck stops with those dead humans. This is finally a, the Colombian government stepping up to the plate by spreading a sterilant into the food supply of rogue humans. <clears throat> Colombian environmentalists say that humans are an invasive species and have pushed away the native fauna. Yes, I have had this rant as humans, the, by, by, I mean, by hands down, orders of magnitude, way beyond rats, the most invasive species on the planet. I am so glad the Colombian government has figured out 
that uh, humans are an invasive species that have pushed away the native fauna. Many environmentalists, uh, I guess is uh, what they're talking about here, have campaigned for the humans to either be culled, otherwise known as killed, or sterilized. Wow. There are two ways to treat overpopulation of an invasive species. Outright kill them or sterilize them. I am of the uh, second camp. I am with those Colombian environmentalists <clears throat> uh, arguing that the humans should be sterilized to keep them from pushing out all of the other fellow earthlings they share Columbia with. <clears throat> uh, so how did this all start? Back in 1993 when authorities seized Hacienda Napoles, Escobar's luxury estate, most of his exotic animals found there were distributed to zoos across the country, but not the humans. This is Colombian biologist Natalie Costablanco, quote, it was logistically difficult to move the humans around, so the authorities just left them there, probably thinking they would die. However, with no natural predators in South America, the humans multiplied. Yes, according to experts, the humans started spreading through one of the country's main waterways, the River Magdalena. Scientists studying the humans' environmental impact say they could affect the local system in a number of ways, from displacing native species already under threat of extinction, like the manatee, to altering the very chemical composition of waterways, which could endanger fisheries. Hmm. <clears throat> Escobar, one of the most notorious South American criminals of all times, uh, was responsible for kidnappings, bombings, and indiscriminate assassinations. And at one point, he was thought to be one of the world's richest men. Oh, well. <clears throat> Good for the Colombian government for sterilizing the number one most invasive species on the planet. <clears throat> and now that we have shared some real life hopium over here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, we're going to change shirts and go over there to that other channel and, uh, and look at various ways the uh, dreamers are uh, grabbing at magical thinking straws to turn this freight train around. Coming up in one minute. Bye, guys. Yes, you little sterilized dog. <clears throat> we got the sterilized dog and the sterilized human talking to you now. Two sterilized guys in this room. <clears throat> 